Okay, so my shot unfortunately uh, came up just a little bit short. It's in a greenside bunker. Uh, it's quite deep, but uh, hopefully we can get it out with a wedge. The bunkers here are quite nice. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. I've seen bunkers that look like concrete, to be honest. Uh, but this is quite nice. Um, a couple little rules about getting into a sand trap. You definitely want to clean it up when you're done. It's a huge no-no. It's, it's actually a penalty if you ground your club while in the sand trap. So your, uh, your club cannot hit the sand at any point unless you're swinging at it. The lip is quite high. I've chosen a, a 60 degree lob wedge to get out. Uh, the bigger the degree, obviously, the, uh, the higher the ball will come out. What I'll also like to do is go up a little bit higher and see how much green I actually have to work with so when the ball actually does come out, you know, do I have three feet of green to land it on or do I actually have 20 to 30 feet? Uh, so I can come up here. From here, it looks like I've got, uh, you know, a good 25 feet to work with. Uh, so I can actually fly the ball to the hole. Now, typically on, on wedges, like a sand wedge, a lob wedge, that kind of thing, uh, there's something in the club called bounce. It's this angle right here. Uh, what that creates is, um, especially in a bunker situation, you don't want your club to dig into the bunker. Um, so this sort of causes, just like the name sounds, it's a bounce effect. So when it hits the, the sand, it'll bounce up uh, and release that golf ball nicely. Otherwise, you know, if, you, if you're going in like this, you're just going to keep going into the sand and you don't want that. You want the club to go up and through the sand so the ball goes up, especially in a situation like this where we've got a, um, a high lip. At address, you want open stance. Uh, what I like to do is even open up my club. What I'll also do is I'll aim my feet to the left my club sort of slightly right of target. Dig your feet in so you're comfortable, so you're stable in here. You don't want any moving around when you're doing this shot. And like I said, you can't ground the club, but you can definitely get a feel for it. Do a, a few sort of air swings or practice swings just to get a nice feel. And then you kind of want to hit about an inch, inch and a half behind the ball and just let it, and just sort of let it come out. Well, I made it over the lip. Probably got about 20 feet left uh, for my par. Okay, so I've just finished raking the trap. You can leave the, uh, the rake right there. Yeah, like I thought, about 20 feet left for par. So there's a difference between um, obviously greenside bunkers, fairway bunkers, consistency in sand. If you're in a fairway, in a fairway bunker, it's actually quite nice if uh, the sand is um, not very soft or fluffy, so to speak. Uh, it'll just make it easier for, for, the, for the shot to, get, to leave the bunker. In this sort of situation by the green, you kind of want it to be fluffy. You want to get a nice crisp shot out of the bunker. What sometimes happens if it's not is you'll skull the ball, and that basically means that you sort of, you don't get under it, you kind of hit uh, on top of the ball, the ball will come out low and fast. Um, and again, you won't, get, you won't be getting out of this bunker if you do that, just the lip is way too high. Out of sand traps in, uh, around the green, you're going to typically use anywhere from a 60 degree wedge to a 52 or 54 degree. Uh, again, because the lip was so high here, I chose the max uh, loft lofted club which was my 60 degree. Uh, if you don't have a lip like this to work with, uh, you can even hit a pitching wedge out of the trap. It's, it, it all it's all based on uh, how high you actually have to get the ball. Sand traps are called many different things. I've heard everything from you know sand trap to bunker to I'm on the beach. Um, you'd be surprised what, what people can come up with. It's not a place you want to be. It's not as friendly as, as an actual beach. It's, it's probably one of the worst spots you're going to end up on a golf course.